not on. Okay, good evening. Uh, welcome to Royal Palm Beach Strikers meeting January 21st, 2020. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the meeting is called to order at 6.36. Roll call, uh, Vanessa? Here. Fernando? Here. Sean? Here. Corinne? Here. Amy? Here. Steve? Here. Okay, absent is Mal Hassan, our president. All right, yes, high school game, I guess. All right, last month's meetings, we are gonna go over next month. And we're gonna skip right on to the president's report, and he's not here, so that makes that easy. Treasurer's report, please. Oh, hold on one second. Oh. <laughs> Just let me pull it up. Okay, so recreational checking. The beginning balance was uh, 10,141.19. Ending balance was 19,549.16. The savings started with 10,658.81, ended with 10,659.26 for balance ending December. Motion to accept the meeting, the treasurer's report for December. Checking balance for recreation, $19,549.16. Savings balance, $10,659.26. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay, treasurer's report for December passes. All right, now the DOC's report. Okay, registrar's report. Shinoy said he can't make it this evening. So that moves us on to number five, open comments from the floor. What? Okay, cool. Unfinished business is done. New business. First thing we have to do is we're going to add a new board member. New? A new. Yeah. Well, ah. recycled. <laughs> is that the right word? Renewed. But Dave, uh, Dave Corson, who's been with the club for 10 years. He's been a board member in the past. He's going to be a board member again. And you are going to be like our social media website person, correct? All right, so Dave Corson, welcome. Come on up here. You don't get to sit out there anymore. Good to see you trimmed your beard up for your TV appearance. Very nice. Okay, next on the schedule is spring schedule. And we are going to start rec practice the week of February 17th. First game is February 29th, all right, which means I have to have the uniform order in uh, around February 7th, so Mal's gonna have to have the teams in that all together by then. Any questions on that? And we pick the uniforms, style? Yes. That, which is mm -hmm. Switzerland, yeah, Switzerland. so it's very pretty. Looks like uh, Gorgeous. paint stripes, I don't know. You guys like them, I'm not wearing them, it's cool. Okay. So that's it with the uniforms. Okay, we're renaming, renumbering the fields at CATS. Well, that, okay. We're renumbering the fields, and we're gonna start, if you're standing at the concession stand, it's now left to right. A, B. One, two. One, two. It'll be zone A, B, C, D, and then it'll be fields one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, and then we also move the little fields over into zone where field five and six are. So it, we finally did that. So it's and that all takes care of the problem after. with the field where it's wet, right? And the wet yeah. spot. Yeah, we'll avoid that wet yeah, spot. Yeah, I was going to double yeah, check it'll be why. Down. Did you guys change the zones and we're just making the numbers to match that or what? No, the zones are staying the I've same. We've been that and we're trying to match right. the field yeah. numbers. The field That's numbers have always been backwards. Right. They've, they've always read the wrong way. So now it all now it makes sense. Right. It might be at a little bit of adjustment the first year. Oh, it's going to be horrible. After, but after that, <laughs> it's, it's, right it's better because it actually makes sense. It, it reads left right, to right. Yeah, it it's left to sure. right. So it's, it's it, yeah. We're going to get good signs to keep on the fields? For we already oh. ordered some. Yeah. We ordered, we ordered some um, signs that go on the nets, you know, like a one. So you put oh, on the nets. Beautiful. So it'll be like field yeah. one, field two, field And three. we do have some signs that we had last year made up. I think I have all eight, but whatever. Okay. Um, that is it can that. also be interchangeable, so if you have to like, you Ooh, know, wrong. change or something like can that. I, can anything about the nets? Yeah, uh, I, I about the nets? Go ahead. Did um, anything happen with possibly putting netting behind fields one and two now? Um, not yet. Okay. All right. Oh, the okay, and that, yeah. that kind of netting. Okay. Hey, Sean, yeah, yeah. what are we doing for coaches' shirts? 
What are we doing for coaches shirts? That's a good question. What do you want to do? We're doing green this time? We can do the pink again because I have some pink left over. That's what I was thinking. Um, or we could even just go and have, um, we haven't done coat jerseys in a long time. I like the pink though. Whatever. I mean. Pink? Or go whatever. Ahead. What color is whatever? I don't know. Pink. <laughs> teal, teal. Pink. No, it's got to be got to be something fluorescent because that's the night. I love that. I can just sit there and look and go, that adult shouldn't be on that sideline. He's not wearing a pink shirt. Why wouldn't you pick a different color? We already have yellow and pink. Well, we're going to do pink. We did yellow for two seasons. We'll do pink for two seasons. Do orange. Do orange next year. I already have leftover pink. Okay. <laughs> I don't like any of those colors. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like any of those colors. Nobody does. That's coach. the point. I'm not coaching anymore. <laughs> that's the, that's the <laughs> point. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what color would you like, Steve? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, motion to adjourn the recreational portion of the meeting at 641. I've said that. Second that. <laughs> All in favor? Yes. All right. Here we go. Now, we go to the competitive side. President's report. Not here. Treasurer's report. Oh, wait. I'm not quite ready again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I took a picture of it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So, competitive checking um, started at... 36,473.82 ended with 32,870.64. The savings was 10,017.64 ending with 10,018.07. The stipends beginning balance was $4,774 even. Ending balance was $8,624. We have moved money over to, you know, start doing coaches stipends and there's a few that I think haven't been issued so we have to figure out what's going on with those how are we doing on oh we'll go to that later motion to accept, motion to accept the competitive checking balance ending December at thirty two thousand eight hundred seventy dollars and sixty four cents savings balance at ten thousand eighteen dollars and seven cents and the stipend account at eight thousand six hundred and twenty four dollars Second the motion. All in favor? Yes. yes. Okay. Treasurer's report is accepted for December of 2019. All right. Open comments? Anyone? All right. Well, um, oh. Go ahead. No, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, lo looking with the, 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 the new layout. Just to make a comment on this. When we put the U6 field, and we try to keep the the area that is really bad. Remember what is the field 10? Field uh, 5. The 5? The old field 10. 5. Yeah. So that area, if it can be... We're gonna, the, we're drawing, gonna, the drawing is looking good. Just I want to be sure, you know, the... We're going to try to push it down as far as we can to where... Oh, away from that wet spot. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because that area is really bad when... Yeah, I'm getting, especially when it rains, yeah. They look good, man. Okay. All right, awesome. All right, new business. We have a tournament coming up for the competitive under 12 for South Florida Soccer League. Um, now, uh, we're going to need somebody. I will, I'm going to meet with them soon to talk about how many fields and all that thing, but we need somebody to organize the parent volunteers. Palm Beach League. Palm Beach League, excuse me. What did I say? <laughs> oh, Palm Beach League. I'm sorry. They're all the same to me. No. They're all the same to me. <laughs> no, no, um, yeah. Anyway, we need somebody to organize the parents for volunteering that weekend. And it, the parents in the under 12s that are in the tournament. Yeah, everybody's turning their head. <laughs> uh, Isn't that up to the, the managers to? Yeah, but somebody needs to coordinate. Okay. Who, like I made a little schedule here I gave you guys. And like, mm -hmm. Also, the board members all need, I think a board member should be there the whole time. I already put myself down. Um, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then even Thursday night, we have to set up the tournament. We have to set up the goals and everything. And then Sunday night, we gotta need a bunch of people to put everything away, too. Um, but I need somebody to, who deals with the competitive parents, um, which I am not one of them. <laughs> I deal with the managers. Well, you can get the- Push through the managers. And push through the managers. And listen. How many parents do you want per? Well, okay, I, I broke it down. I, three-hour slots but if you make it two maybe two-hour slots that's then... gonna be just for the 
You can 11 and 12, right? No, it's 9, nine, nine for the whole, the 10, whole 11, and 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. They're all going to be in the tournament, and I think they're either going to get a free admit to the yeah. tournament. Yes. That's normally how it works. We out. get a free admit so to the tournament. So it's going to be 9, 11, and 12. Right. 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 Those so, teams. So it's four teams. Okay. So that's not going to involve any of the U14s? No. Parents? No. Not at all. Because it's U12 and under only. And we could actually have some of the older kids if they want to get yeah, we community need service hours. I'll, I will, I'll pass it past my team and see if we can get some community service. The older That's kids. great. But, I mean, we, we need parents, though, for the concession. Well, we the next question is for the concession stand. Okay. Do we want to pay the cashiers and have them work? Okay, they're 15 bucks an hour. Now, when we did the, um, you can have that. Yeah, yeah, Taki do it. He was good. Well, well we we'd, have the, we'd, have, just, we'd have the two cashiers. I said, well, it, was, it was really busy last time we yes, did it, so it, it did help having them and then having someone not know the system as much. I mean, it's right, not that's, hard. Yeah, I think, I think we need to have them, and we can have you know, somebody help. And then the parents come in and help in two-hour shifts, and we're going to need parents for field marshalling, and we're going to need parents for the, doing the concession stand. And the you kids know. for community service would be field marshalling? Field marshalling or whatever They can walk whatever around and drink some, yeah. You do U16, U17s, and U18s, give them an the opportunity because they need it for um, high school. Yeah, they can get their community. Yeah, we'll sign off. We need to be short the. So, yes remember, on the cashiers. Remember the problem we had in the last uh, playoff or the year before when we do playoff for them? Like a, a lot of the teams, they show up, everybody at the same time for one hour. So, we need to be short the whatever time we need. Well, plus it's going to be a tournament, so people are going to be stuck there for two games. Well, Saturday, yeah, but the be problem two they, games, they, they and Sunday may be two games if they become the final. Right. right. Final. But the problem they're going to try to, you know, be two hours before the game. All the parents for that team. So we need to be sure that we spread out the whole day. Well, yeah. You just tell me how many parents you want per so thing. We split them up by zone. How zone. many? How many hours every every player need to have the parents there, Sean? I would say at least two hours. Let's do a two-hour shift. So everybody has needs to do a two-hour shift. And two in the concession stand at a time on top of the paid employees, probably more than enough. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah. Because you can, one person would be working the grill, and the other person would be drinks making the sandwiches and drinks and stuff. So, so that's going to be what, 9 to, nine to 10? Um, on Saturday, it won't get busy till about 10 a.m. So like in the morning, I, I can come in, open up on Saturday and Sunday morning, and really be by myself till 10 o'clock. Or bring the cashier in at 9 and start the parents at 10. And then from 10 till about 7 or 8, that's when you're really no, going. I'm trying to, to think, you know, how many hours we're going to need, you know, field marshals for the parents. Field marshals? Um, that's going to be 9 to 10. That's going to be, yeah, 9, 9 to 9. 9 to 9. And Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, it's probably going to end probably about 6 at night. I don't know. i got to talk to them, see how many teams they but get in the tournament. But even 20. for cleanup too, you want for cleanup, right? We want people oh, there to probably nine, nine to nine. We open twenty-two hours. Plus Friday night. Till nine. Friday night 26. would be three, six to nine. Twenty-six hours. Um, and we need to have what, at least four or five at the same time. I'll be there a lot. I would say at least three, two to one to field marshal and two for concession. In each slot. Yeah. Only one for marshal. Yeah, they're uh, just going to float around. Well, and and the Palm Beach League. And have the kids too. The Palm Beach League people will be there too, sitting on their butts watching. Right. You know. But they'll be there if there's a big problem. If there's a big problem, we're calling the Sheriff's Department anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting my nose broken for any of this. Like last time. That's right. <laughs> Call the police. That's what I they do. They want three parents per hour slot. For two hour slot. I think two hours is about, yeah. about what you could ask. And then we'd have to, it's going to be last minute arranging because when we get the schedule, nobody's going to want to be working in the concession and during their kid's game. Right. But that's what and I'm that's saying. why one, if one of us is always there, we could be the fill in there, you know, oh, the kid's game, you know. Well, Saturday I can do the 9 to 12. I know I'll be the concession. there. Matt's going to be playing. I'll do the concession. Well, game. we can figure out, I mean, we can figure out our schedule between all of us, you know. Later. Yeah, later. But that's, that's. So Dominic will probably be refing. And, and I'll have and the 17s do, I'll do, have them do a 50-50 raffle so they can do a fundraiser and that way they all can be there. Do a 50-50 on Saturday and a 50-50 on Sunday. Yeah. And then Sunday we can say whoever the winner is. I hope nothing happened. Um, okay. Hey, Sean, we're just going to have one cashier per, like, like whatever time, not both of them there at the same time. Right, right. So um, Alexis would be morning and then Sandy would be at night. Right. 
you know, probably, probably six hours each on Saturday mm -hmm. and probably like five hours each on Sunday. Only for Saturday, Sunday, we'll... Friday night, I was just going to do it myself. Okay. You know, it shouldn't be that big a deal. Maybe bring Taki in Friday night. What do you have on Thursday? Sorry. Thursday, we got to put the goals out. Oh, okay. No, no games. No games. No, but Thursday, we want to get all the goals out, sandbags out, have that all set up and not scrambling after work on Friday. Let me ask you, so how many fields do we need? I told them right now, we only have goals for six fields. Six. And I'll get with you guys about, you know, marking the fields. It's first, second, and third, or just first and second? First, second, and third. First, second, and third. Okay. Yeah. So we'd have to be done by, like, Friday morning. Right. Um, or actually Thursday. Thursday. Because <laughs> yeah. put the goals out on Thursday. So how um, many how many U10 goals we got two, right? We have, we have two U10 and we have four U12. And I told them if they want a seventh field, we can stick a seventh field over, you know, in the, the old one, two, three, four area, and like we did for the last tournament, but we don't have goals for it. And they're going to. So we got how many? Six, you say? Yeah. What are we going to put six? If you look at zone A and B, you know, seven, old seven and eight, mm -hmm. one there, one there, one there, one like there. We did the last oh, time. Like we did the last time. Yeah, like when we did the They're going the long way now. So last time. They're going to go, instead of going north and south, they're going to go east, west. Yeah. So back to back one, and, uh, okay, mm -hmm. so that's four. And, and then field. Five and six, whatever. Or each right. five and six. Right. How did you do it so last time? So maybe we didn't have one like this. If we only had six goals, how'd you do it the last time? We those? borrowed goals. Oh, you did. They borrowed a goal. They borrowed goals. So, but I, I'm going to talk. To, I'm going to meet with them. In fact, I got to call Shinoy. But I will meet with them and, and nail down how many fields they want, and then we'll figure out the goals from there. So that's that's it for that. Uh, that's all I got. Anybody got anything else? <sighs> what's what's the time? You have the best. Man, that we're not. Gonna, we didn't beat the record. Oh, so okay. We started late. Mo oh, we started late. That's right. That's about 19 yeah, minutes. <laughs> okay. So, at uh, call for adjournment for the competitive meeting at 6:53. I'll second. I said that. All in favor? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. 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 yeah.